Thank you, Mr. President. Mr. President, I give notice that on the next sitting day I will move one, that this House affirms its support for the need to address a critical issue that affects our society, the significant gaps in men's health, education and higher rates of homelessness and incarceration in New South Wales. It is imperative that New South Wales <coughs> Government recognise and work towards closing these gaps to achieve a more equitable and just society for all. Two, that this House notes that a that there are stark disparities between men and women's health in New South Wales. B, that New South Wales men have a higher prevalence of unhealthy lifestyle behaviours. C, that New South Wales have, uh, men have higher rates of chronic diseases than women. D, New South Wales men have a lower life expectancy than women. E, the urgent need for mental health support for men in, is highlighted by the fact that death by suicide is over three times more common in men than in women. Three, that this House notes that a, educational gaps between girls and boys that persist, particularly in our schools where boys do not excel. B, report after report demonstrates that boys consistently underperform in our education system. C, the New South Wales Tell Them From Me student survey data highlighted disparities in student engagement and wellbeing between boys and girls. D, girls tend to have a higher educational aspirations, better behaviour, and are more likely to comply with school expectations. Uh, meanwhile, boys are more disruptive with lower aspirations, creating a significant social justice issue that is often overlooked. Four, that this House notes that a, it is critical for New South Wales Government to recognise that these gaps in health and education are interconnected and contribute to higher rates of homelessness among men. Males make up over 56 per cent of people experiencing homelessness, further underscoring the need for government to provide a comprehensive and holistic approach to address these challenges. Five, that this House notes that more than nine out of ten adults in custody in New South Wales are male. B, more than nine out of ten young adults in custody are male. C, the massive failure of current government policy illustrated by the fact that the imprisonment rate of Aboriginal men and boys is nearly ten times the non-Aboriginal imprisonment rate and that these rates are increasing. D. More than four out of ten men in Australia are, have experienced physical violence. E. The 2021-22 Personal Safety Survey showed that one in 14, 7.3 per cent or 693,000 have experienced violence uh, from an intimate partner since the age of 15. F, more than one in 20 men have experienced sexual violence in the past year. G, both women and men are more likely to have experienced <laughs> sexual harassment by a person of the opposite sex than, most, than when last reported by the ABS in 2016. More than one in 20 men have experienced sexual harassment by a female perpetrator. H, nearly one in four men will experience sexual harassment in their lifetime. I, sexual harassment is being weaponised, even in this place through the Broderick Report and the Independent Complaints Officer, where certain people, i.e. straight white men with two legs, are ineligible to be a victim of harassment. Six, that this House calls on the Government to A, recognise that it is our collective responsibility to close the gaps in men's health, education, incarceration and homelessness by fostering a society that values and prioritises the well-being and potential of all its members, regardless of gender. We can build a future where everyone has an equal opportunity to thrive. B, to provide positive policy development and leadership in seeking equitable outcomes for men and boys in New South Wales. C, establish a minister for men and boys. And D, establish a New South Wales Men's Advisory Council which will advise the New South Wales Government on issues affecting men and boys across the state and promote equitable policy outcomes across the work of government.